Hi there, folks. David here at Chicken Analytics with another Chicken Analytics Minute. Today, I want to go through the learning material available to you as a Chicken Analytics member. There's a ton of material uh, that uh, our teams have provided to help you get the most you can out of Chicken Analytics, to help you learn the ins and outs and really be successful in your membership. The way to access all of this information is in the books product resources icon here in the top right corner of the screen, right? Where you're going to do your learning, your research with your textbooks, except of course, this is all online. Go to the resource center. This is where you'll find our information. Three primary uh, locations uh, for resources. We'll talk about the user guide and tutorial videos in a second. I do want to make mention of the member only uh, live webinars, which we are discontinuing as of this week. Uh, and of course, these videos are now being done uh, as part of the replacement for that. But I do want to point out that while these sessions will not be held live anymore, the old recordings are available for you uh, still on this page. So you can go back and view past recordings with Pete Carmesino on the open forum, or perhaps the weekly spotlight session where we would take a dive into particular topics. Perhaps that might be useful for you. That information will still stay available on the site. But I want to talk in more detail about the tutorial videos and the user guide, which are built on the same shared platform and they interact with each other. Let's hop to the tutorial video section here for a second. There's approximately 70 or so tutorial videos that cover everything from uh, a couple seconds about uh, how uh, the price chart works or the global filter works to more detailed explanations uh, of all of the items that are in the screener couple minutes, uh, maybe at most for each of these videos, other than these onboard videos. You'll notice the beginning section here is our onboard videos one, two, and three. These are your primary foundational training videos that teach you the basics, the necessary foundational basics to build upon to find success with Shaken Analytics. Whether you're new, returning, or just need a refresher, this is where you want to start. Video one teaches you about how Chaken Analytics is built around lists, how you create lists, how you use lists in Chaken Analytics. Video two is all about reading the chart data. What does the data mean? How does it work? How does it work together? How does the checklist help you with that? Maybe the most important video of all. If you don't know how to read the data, none of this is really gonna make sense. And video three, is about idea generation. How do we get started using the screener? We all look for good ideas, right? These three videos are vital. Please make sure if you haven't viewed them or spent time with them, or you could use a refresher that you do run through them again. We then see specific tutorial videos, right? How do you log in? What about the chicken analytics price chart or a look at relative strength versus the SPY? When we click on one of the videos, it takes us to the page where we can view the video here, or we can click and go right to the actual YouTube itself. Now, you may be saying, okay, but you know, I ran into an issue with a certain item. How do I find that? Well, you can search right here in the top right corner. Global filter, for example, right? Hit enter. Bam. Here you go. Here's a global filter walkthrough tutorial video because right, we were in the tutorial video section. But you'll notice it says over here, all categories, it says Chicken Analytics user guide. What happens if we click on user guide? Yeah, we are now going to see every user guide post, written user guide posts that references the global filter. And of course, the post specifically about the global filter is listed first. We notice the stock screener post also discusses it. Uh, the water chicken hot list post also discusses it, et cetera, et cetera. Let's click global filter here. All right. So now instead of a video, we have a typed written walkthrough and explanation with photos of the global filter, what it is and how you use it. What you'll notice though, is that the bottom of the global filter user guide post is a tutorial video. The tutorial videos live in their own section on their own if you're just looking for a video, but we have also attached them to appropriate user guide posts uh, if there is one that fits. Not every user guide uh, post will have a tutorial video. Some will have multiple tutorial videos, by the way.
but we make it easy for you to find necessary, uh, relevant content that's going to help you learn. Again, it is searchable uh, and uh, all interconnected. You know, if we head back to the user guide here, uh, we can see uh, different posts, right? How does this all work? You know, maybe you say overview of the workspace. Okay, here's some descriptions of everything in the workspace. Terrific. Uh, you know, we didn't have a video specifically for that one. Chart display. How does all that work? Okay, a lot of detail here. Look at all the different videos, right? Each of the indicators have their own video. We've attached them to this post. Almost every question you have about how Chicken Analytics works, what does the data mean, can be found in the user guide or the tutorial video section. We understand that some people prefer to read things. Some people prefer to watch videos. We give you the options for both. We hope this was helpful and enlightening. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions or there's anything we can do for you, as always, by clicking the question mark here in the top right corner of the screen. I'll see you tomorrow.